the face of a man who knows his son will be the death of him. Our last panels have arrived that are going to span the roof of our mushroom fruiting chamber. There they are behind me. They are 7.2 metres wide um, and they'll actually go lengthways. So the fruiting rooms will be divided down this way and they'll lie flat like this. That means we can get, we need to get the start of our HVAC up. So if we walk inside here, you can see down on the ground here I've got these two big pipes. And a few other big connecting pieces like so. This is going to be the ventilation system which the fresh air comes in from and it's going to come in from the wall there. It's going to run right down the top of the roof here um, and then down into the front of the fruiting chambers. I need to get this up now because once these fruiting chambers are built we're going to have very limited access to the roof space above it. So what we're doing now is we're going to insulate them. We've got some insulation wrap here we insulate them and then we've got to get up on the top of the roof and put the fasteners in place where they'll fasten to um, and then with our, our scaffolding there we will get this, this big pipe laid along the roof. Once it's up we can pretty much leave it there, build the fruiting rooms below it um, and then once the fruiting rooms are up we'll put all the fittings on the end and connect it up. So quite simple really, we've got our, our insulation wrap here, this is a foil backed wrap and I think the guy told me it's about R1 but it should be enough to um, to insulate that heat or that cool air that's moving through here um, and we're just going to cut it, we're going to wrap it while it's on the ground and then we're going to lift it up there wrap. We're not going to try and wrap it after we hang it, that would probably be a disaster just quietly. So the insulation is on and it's wrapped around and then we're just sealing it up with this foil tape. Right we have the pipe insulated um, and we've got the braces inside it which are mounted to these connection rods here and these will screw up into some uh, points which have already drilled into the roof which is a bad idea because we need to unjewel them so they can screw on and then drill them back to the roof. So the goal is now to mount this big section up there. You can see I've um, insulated the right angle corner here most of the way around. Um, that pipe will feed down the wall there um, and out towards my preconditioning room and that end will, will join to another section of pipe which will shoot a bit further, it'll be six metres in total um, and then down into the fruiting rooms. Having roller scaffolding really helps hang the ventilation. I probably couldn't have done it without it. Sunday afternoon and we're going to call it a day there but we've got most of our HVAC pipe up there on the roof. You can see it starts off way down the end there um, and it comes along the top and breaks off into these two. Those two are going to come out and go down to each fitting room respectively. So that was quite a big task and I needed to get that done and so I'm happy it's done now. Um, that's about all I needed to do for this stage because we're going to construct the fitting room underneath it and I needed that up now so I could start the construction below. So that's done. And we can move forward. Oh team, check this out. So I got the last piece for now of my ventilation system in. This is it here. So you can see it runs down the roof of the other ventilation system behind me and it goes to this corner where it bends down and then 90 degrees and another 90 degrees and goes straight out this wall. But where does it go you ask? Oh, while we look out here, come around the corner, right here. Look at that, that's a big pipe and that's coming straight out the wall there and straight into our preconditioning room here. Now we pop inside here, hop in, look at that, it's a big blivered hole, it's a hole in the wall. You should be able to see inside there, but that is where we are going to suck all our uh, conditioned air from. So obviously the air gets pulled into here, the air conditioner um, conditions it correctly and then it gets sucked out through that hole down through the insulated piping system and into the fruiting rooms. When the air comes into here it's going to run over a water to air heat exchanger. So the air coming in here will go over a heat exchanger and if we go back into where our fruiting rooms are going to go the air leaving the fruiting rooms will go through another heat exchanger. Now the water Water will be pumped from one heat exchanger to another to recover uh, the energy 
that we have uh, expended in either heating or cooling the air for the fruiting rooms. Now, a lot of people choose um, um, but the, the, the cross, I think they're called cross flow uh, heat HRVs, heat recovery units. Um, I've decided not to use one of those because I want, really wanted to separate the flows of air, and I'm going for a water to uh, um, yeah, water to air heat exchanger. I took some. Um, a bit of inspiration from Eric Myers, he's done this sort of system as well, so, so, and it's a system I've chosen to go with. Um, so really, really excited about that. We've got our heat exchangers coming from China now, a lot cheaper to buy from China. And um, these are the excess parts here, which we've got, you can see we've got these things here. Now that's going to go on the roof, um, sorry about the lighting. So these will be, these things here will be sticking up um, well above the roof, about a metre above the roof. That's where all the, uh, the air is going to get ventilated out of. So I've still got that piping to do, and then I've got some other big, big chunks of pipe lying down there to put on. So we're not quite finished yet for the ventilation system, but this is all we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks because I'm just getting this floor cleared here. We've got to bolt down the edges of our fruiting rooms and finally start getting those put together. And once they're put together, we can completely shut down our other farm, which has just got the fruiting op rooms operating there at the moment. But we completely shut, can completely shut that, that down um, and we'll be happy we'll have the whole farm here. It's taken a while, but we'll get there.